May I speak in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, today we gather to examine the profound truth found in the words of Jesus in John chapter 6 from verses 51 to 58. As Anglican, we cherish the sacrament of the Eucharist, where we encounter the true presence of the bread of life. Through this sacred, sacred sacrament, we partake in the body and blood in Christ, receiving his life-giving nourishment. So let us open our hearts and minds as we explore this powerful message and reflect on the significance of the Eucharist in our faith. In the opening verses, Jesus declares himself as the living bread that has come down from heaven, signifying the divine origin and mission. Unlike the manna in the wilderness, which sustained the Israelis temporary, Jesus offers something far greater, himself as the true bread providing eternal substance. Through him, we find life that never ends. In the Eucharist, we encounter Jesus, the living bread, who nurtures us with his very self. The bread becomes his body, and the wine becomes his blood. This is not... Um, a symbolic act, but a profound mystery of our faith. It's a sharing in the very life and love of Christ. Through the real presence in the Eucharist, we are invited to a profound encounter with the living God, receiving the grace and strength, and strength and needs needed to live as faithful disciples and embody the love, mercy, and compassion of Christ in our daily lives. So the challenging um, message is, as Jesus shared this profound truth, we witness the, con <clears throat> the confusion and dispute among the Jews, the struggle to grasp the deeper meaning behind his words, so Jesus speaking of eating his flesh and drinking his blood, while these words may seem shocking, they point to the deep depth of commitment and intimate union required with him. Such a union grants us eternal life. The challenge faced by the Jews in the understanding Jesus' words is not unlike the challenge we face today. Jesus invites us to a level of faith and trust to go beyond human understanding. He calls us to partake in his body and blood, not just symbolically, but in a real and transformative way. Through the Eucharist, we enter into profound communion with Christ, receiving his life and grace into our very being. Jesus further anticipates the importance of his flesh and blood as true food and uh, drink. By partaking in the Eucharist, we enter into a profound and intimate union with Christ. It is through his body and blood that we find substance of our souls, experiencing the transformative power of his love. When we receive the Eucharist, we are not just consuming bread and wine. Through the invocation of the Holy Spirit and the words of the consecration by ordained priests. 
the bread and wine become. In reality, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus. While retaining the appearance of bread and wine, so this transformation is known as the transubstantiation, a profound mystery that underscore the love and mercy of our Savior. So Jesus draw a parallel between his relationship with the Father and our relationship with him. Just as Jesus lives because of the Father, we too can live because of Jesus. This connection emphasizes the source of spiritual life and the reality that flows from the Father through Jesus to us. In contrast to the temporary nature of mana in the wilderness, Jesus offers us eternal life. By partaking in him, we receive the promise of everlasting life. Through the Eucharist, we are not only nurtured in our spirit journey, spiritual journey, but also receive the gift of eternal life. Jesus, the bread of life, imparts his life-giving presence to us, transforming us from within, just as the manna in the wilderness sustained the Israelis in their physical journey. The Eucharist sustained us in our pilgrimage towards eternal life. So now let us consider the practical implication of this powerful message. The Eucharist is not just a ritual or tradition. It's not just a ritual or tradition, but a profound encounter with the living Christ. It calls us to approach this sacrament with faith relevant and preparation. It invites us to examine our hearts, repent of our sins, and open ourselves to receive the transformating grace of Jesus. So let us actively participate in the celebration of the Eucharist, not as passive observers, but as active participations. Let us also approach the altar with awe and reverence, reconciling the real presence of Christ in the consecrated bread and wine as we receive the Eucharist. Let us open our hearts to receive the love, mercy, and hearing that Jesus offers us through this sacred sacrament. As we conclude, so let us reflect on the profound mystery and gift of the Eucharist. In the sacrament of the Eucharist, we encounter Jesus, the bread of life, who nurtures us with his very self. Through this sacred sacrament, we are united with Christ in profound and intimate way receiving his life and grace into our very being. The Eucharist, as I said before, is not just a symbol, but a true preparation, a, a true participation in the body and blood of Christ. May we cherish and treasure the gift of Eucharist in our lives. Let us approach this sacrament with faith, and gratitude, reconciling the profound mystery and transformative power it holds. As we partake in the Eucharist, may our souls be nurtured, our faith deepened, and our lives transformative by the presence of Christ. May the message of John and the uh, <clears throat> significance of the Eucharist in our faith resonate deeply within our hearts.
as we go forth from this place and let us carry the truth of the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist and share his love with others. May we continue seek to encounter Jesus in this sacred sacrament that our souls may be nurtured and our lives may be testimony to his love and grace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.